So what we got here is I took off the VZ extrudor and I designed a uh, worm drive uh, using the K1 uh, extruder gear and Sean was working on these for his project, the low boy and uh, he's using this gear here so I wanted to have an extruder where the motor was on its back and I could sink the heat to the tool plate and then sink that to this guy and then cool it with this uh, with this aquarium pump and uh, so it's kind of a little compact design here and it's it's way too small the plastic for uh, a plastic version this is just a, a proof of concept um, and so this is meant to all be in aluminum and uh, SLM printed um, but it's holding up pretty good I'm, I'm actually pretty shocked that rose right there was around 50 MMS 3 and it, it wasn't even breaking a sweat um, it was probably around seven minutes I, I think I do these in like four or five minutes something like that and they turn out pretty decent um, so I kind of want to see what this guy's going to do, and so far it's it's working pretty good. Um, I ended up putting a um, a thrust bearing in here, and I kind of load that with these little jack screws here on the side, and uh, that kind of you don't have to have the exact number of shims in there because you can load that just a little bit, put a little bit of pressure on there, and it kind of helps square up that gear. There's a bearing inside there, so it. You know the the total indicated runout is probably pretty low on that, uh, provided the gear is good quality. Um, the filament path is is all in this front piece, um, so hopefully I've got the design where I want it with this piece. And I would, if I have any problems, I can always just have this piece reprinted. Um, there's only one gear here. There's a, a little bearing inside there. Um, let's see here. I didn't even put a heat cert in there. I just threaded the hole and <laughs> and said, let's see what it does. But there's just uh, a little bearing there. And I know there's been so many topics, you know, of should I have a dual gear, a single gear? You know, I don't really know. I, I really haven't had a lot of trouble with, with two gears, but maybe I'm not as picky. I, I don't know. Um, but I'm going to try this here with a little bearing and uh, mounted the tool board here on the top. I'm going to change this connector here to a straight and let this come straight up. I don't happen to have one now. I'm also bracing the uh, this bottom assembly to the back and so these support one another here. Um, there is a bearing up in here in case that worm tries to push away from the force maybe it's not needed I just decided to put it in there since I'm gonna make a bridge here anyway for the tool board why not just have that bearing support there so you don't have to use it uh, if it doesn't work um, and uh, there's also a thrust bearing on the motor shaft uh, but I need to install a, a larger washer down there in the bottom because I think it's actually sitting on the seal uh, instead of aluminum so it's probably not going to do a whole lot of good there right now um, and so you know we printed a rose here in about I don't know it was eight minutes or something it came out pretty good with this sucker and I just installed this today yeah it came out pretty decent Holy smokes, that looks pretty good. Wowza. Wow, that looks quite good, actually. Quite good. Well, who knows? We're going to test it and run it and see what it does and get it SLM printed and then uh, run it through some tests and see how it goes, I guess. Uh, anyway, so... We got a different grill for it here in the front. This is something that I had off, I saved off of a, a Sapphire Plus. Uh, this is what heat sink came with it. So I took this and I turned it in a lathe to get it the right thickness. 
and uh, then I had to turn another piece uh, there's another piece in the center of this um, so if I want to run the Goliath and the heat brake sticks out it just goes up into this into this heat sink uh, and in this case I'm using this to try to cool the the motor more than anything uh, this is a conduction tube chubby tube whatever they call this thing I call it chubby because it's just humongous you know it is ginormous it's bigger than my thumb look at that sucker anyway but this is my latest uh, change here and uh, I want to check it out and see how it does.